Hey guys, welcome back to Coffee Cats and Chats. Um, this morning we will be reviewing the, this is a sample size, so it's not the real thing, but the Lush's FOMO Jelly Face Mask. So I got a sample for free the other week when I was at Lush and I had purchased like a bath bomb or something and they were sweet enough to give me a sample of this. So, um... It was free, but um, normally it retails for $13.95 for a 60 gram pot of this, so. Oh, sorry. All right, so I'll open it up and I'll show you what it's like because it really is <laughs> Whoa. Now it is jelly covered in freaking cat hair. This is just like a testament to how my weekend is going. <laughs> so, yeah. I shouldn't have tipped it forward. I doubt you, dummy. God damn it. Anyways, here it is. I think I cleaned it off. Um, I'll try and put it back in there. See how jelly it is, though? It's like super jelly. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, I've seen a lot of these like jelly face masks around on like social media and stuff and they always look kind of cool, but I just never thought to, well, I never seen ones around here and I guess this isn't like super, well, Halifax is local enough. <laughs> um, so anyways, yeah, uh, I'm just going to go a little bit over, uh, Lush since I haven't reviewed a Lush product before. Um, so yeah, Lush has like kind of a complex beginning. Um, they began in the UK, uh, same as like the body shop and the founders of Lush actually began making products and formulas for the body shop. Um, but after the body shop bought those formulas, uh, they then opened their own company in 1995 and so began Lush. So, uh, Lush doesn't buy from companies that carry out, fund, or commission any animal testing, which is really cool. I, that's awesome. Um, they test their products on human volunteers before they are sold to the public, and Lush, they're also a big donator to hundreds of charities, and they actually have a product that's called Charity Pot, and, um, I think it's just like a moisturizer or something. But anyways, um, yeah, all the proceeds from that, I'm pretty sure, go to a bunch of, I can't even remember how many charities they've donated to since, like, over the years, but a lot, and so that's, I can appreciate that when a big corporation gives back. That's always nice. Uh, so yeah, um, I don't have a description on here, so I just went on their website to find the description and then the directions on how to use this. So the description of the FOMO Jelly Face Mask is, if the slightest change in weather or environment leaves you red-faced or inflamed, and I mean... I, I do have sensitive skin. I think I just like scratch myself before coming on here and same with that, like a little peach. <laughs> Anyways, so if it leaves you red faced and inflamed, don't worry. You won't miss out on great skin with this wobbly mask in your beauty arsenal. Gentle calamine powder calms redness and irritation while soothing rose absolute and uplifting neroli oil leave your skin beautifully supple and even with a softening base of mineral and even with a softening base of mineral rich carrageenan, this mask is the ultimate skin calmer. So yeah, sounds nice. And so to how to use, you pinch off some jelly, you work it between your hands to form a paste and apply on the skin and you leave on for about 10 minutes and then rinse clean. So I am going to start doing that right now. Um, I think I got all of the fluff and dirt off of the freaking jelly face mask. I'm so mad that I did that. There it is. Um, I have uh, my skin's uh, clean obviously like I washed my face uh, I didn't apply anything else to it though I just washed it and so I could do the mask so my face isn't too bad I mean it's it is kind of slightly redder than my rest of my body but the redness isn't is mostly on here today 
But anyways, we'll see if you guys notice any difference, if it makes my complexion less ruddy or whatever you want to call it. So they say pinch a bit. And the girl at the shop was saying I would be able to get two masks out of this. Oh, that's kind of, I mean, oh, we'll, we'll see. So I, I pinched a little and so, ooh, <laughs> it kind of starts to like melt. Ooh, once you start working it between your, see, your hands. I was wondering if it was going to stay chunky or not, but I'm actually really surprised at how well this is like melting and smoothing. So, all right. I'm just going to make sure I get all the larger chunks smoothed out. And we're going to start applying. Oh, I didn't put on my headband. Damn it. My little baby hairs are going to get trapped in it. Now this smells awesome. It smells like roses. That always reminds me of my uh, father's mother, my paternal grandmother. She had wild rose bushes outside of her house. And I used to pick them for her. Um, so I am just going to pinch off just a tad more, but I think the girl's right. I think I, I will be able to stretch this into a, a two masker, so that's kind of cool. Nice. Okay. I do have, like, it, I know it doesn't look like I have a lot, but, I mean, it is a jelly mask. Oh, sorry, guys. I have a cloth that I had hung on my stand, and I almost knocked you over. Anyways, um, I do have a lot of product on my face, even though it doesn't look like it. Um, it's mostly jelly. I'm sure the only reason that it's kind of, like, opaque is like the kale and clay and the calamine powder um so anyways um i'm starting my timer now and we're going to talk about some ingredients so uh first off they even mentioned it in the description is calamine powder uh that soothes skin and it's toning and it's absorbent as well Next up that was in the ingredient list was propylene glycol so that's commonly used as a skin conditioning agent it helps um with absorption so it allows like the good stuff to get in there better to your skin layers and um, but it also has been associated with irritant and allergic contact dermatitis so i just wanted to throw that out there and i think i've mentioned that before um but anyways uh kaolin is up next it's a naturally occurring clay mineral used in cosmetics for its absorbent properties it makes it a popular ingredient in clay masks for oily skin which I need. And so they also mention this in the description as well, carrageenan extract, aka chondrus crispus. Um, it's extracted from red seaweed, aka Irish, excuse me, Irish moss. And it is a water binding agent, which means it helps hold water onto the skin and hair, and it, which in turn increases your hydration. And they also mention this as well, neroli oil. Uh, this has a rejuvenating and regenerating benefits for every skin type. Uh, it's antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, and antiseptic properties make it ideal for oily and blemished skin. Um, it also helps maintain moisture levels and balance oily skin too. So I'd actually never heard of neroli oil before, and that's N-E-R-O-L-I. The rolly oil. And then this next ingredient is called Rose Absolute. I don't know if it's just like actual absolute rose extract. I don't know. Um, or if that is a species of rose. Anyways, Rose Absolute has anti-inflammatory properties that can help reduce redness or irritated skin, get rid of acne, dermatitis, and eczema. And it's a great, also a great cleanser and aids in removing oil and dirt accumulated in clogged pores. So this, um, she must have just looked at my face and knew that I needed it. <laughs> so uh, she matched me pretty well, the, the lady at Lush and so four-wheeler driving down the highway. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, she matched me pretty well for considering like she only see me in the shop for like 10 minutes when I was browsing. So yeah, and then she didn't even like ask me about my skin. She just offered this little sample. She's like, would you like a sample? And I, I'm 
course I'm gonna take a sample. So I was like, heck yeah. And so that's what she gave me, the FOMO jelly face mask. Anyways, I still have like seven minutes left. So I'm going to pause you guys and then I'll come back on and I'll rinse it off in front of you so you can see um, if there's a difference. I really should have like applied a little on that. Maybe I will just to see if it'll like calm that redness down. Hmm. I have to make sure sometimes when I'm videotaping I and then I have to stitch movies together um, iMovie like makes it into movie format so it's square and it's not full screen like I'm used to so anyways I'm sorry if I'm, I'm ever doing something on screen and it's cut off it wasn't in the original but when I edit edit aka say iMovie put these together for me when I do that um, it tends to frig around with the viewing format I don't know how I'm not technical obviously anyways just wasted another minute so I will be back soon see you guys soon bye hey guys <laughs> sorry I'm not even in the shot so we're back and this is 10 minutes later Doesn't look much different, but I haven't washed it up yet. <clears throat> so Frankie was just hanging around being a little purr monster, so I figured I'd throw him on camera now, so. So you can feel your skin like kind of like tighten up a little bit like a clay mask sort of when it's drying. It is, you do need to put a little manpower behind scrubbing it off, but it does, it comes off pretty good. One last pass. To get any of the pieces that I miss. Oh no, oh, yeah, right, forgot my chest. And then... So as we all know, when I first rub my face, I'm going to be red, but um, my skin feels nice and soft and supple, um, although you know what, after rubbing it that much, I'm actually surprised at how unread it is. Like you guys have seen my skin before when I've just wipe my face off and I'm like all splotchy and look like a speckled trout but um this is like I don't know did I get bit maybe I don't even know but it did help a little bit with this redness um but this is like intense still a little bit but yeah <clears throat> if anything I don't know does my complexion look more even I don't know <laughs> anyways it does feel good and so you know what um, it had a lot of really good ingredients and not many ingredients that's the good thing about Lush is like they're um, like all made by hand I think or like anyways um, they just don't have a lot of harsh chemicals in them and not many ingredients at all which is uh, makes things easier for when you're trying to decide if it's good for you and so yeah at $13.95 for a 60 gram uh, thing and you only needed like they are truthful when they say just a pinch so I'm pretty impressed by that too um, so yeah I'd definitely give it um, two thumbs up. actually Charles suggested to me that I should start doing um, like a different rating system than thumbs up or thumbs down or whatever that I should rate them out of Frankie's <laughs> so just a second. Come here, you little 
blue burgets. Ooh, my goodness, y'all just so handsome. Okay, so um, I'm gonna just start with a simple scale of uh, five. <laughs> so I'm going to give Lush's FOMO Jelly Face Mask um, four out of five Frankies. Da -da -da -da! And that's really good because, and the only reason um, I probably wouldn't give it like five out of five of these handsome guys um, is only because of the propylene glycol. Um, but, uh, and not even, I even feel bad doing that because like, obviously that's probably for sensitive people. So and I'm kind of sensitive myself and I'm sure that I won't get dermatitis from it. Frank, hey, stop, get out of there. He's, he's in a bag. Yeah, I know, you're looking directly at me and w rubbing it with your paw. Would you just stop? Come here. Oh. <sighs> Alright, we're back. So yeah, um, yeah, so I give it four out of five Frankies. It was really good. Um, $13.95, not bad. So that was Lush's FOMO Jelly Face Mask. And so thank you very much to the lovely lady at Lush that gave me that sample. And if you guys want to try a jelly face mask and I suggest trying the FOMO one. So I hope you guys have a great day and um, I'm going to go continue on with mine. So we'll see you again soon, I hope. Bye!